standing by with the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And Jack and I have already touched on it. And you know, Meredith, we talk about it as seeing the Yankees winning ball games in different ways with the long ball and the small ball. Do the Yankees see it themselves that way? Well, there's definitely been a lot of energy surrounding this team lately, and obviously it's a lot more fun when you're winning ball games and you're scoring runs. And when you look at the last three games, in particular, the Yankees have outscored opponents 18 to 6. Nine of those 18 runs were courtesy the long ball, but they have found other ways to manufacture runs. And last night, once again, that newfound speed was on display. Definitely a, a different element and, and, you know, something that's certainly played a factor here for us uh, these past few games where, you know, that's come into play a little bit, um, you know, and, and, you know, right now with what we have, um, you know, we got to do things in a different kind of way. And, and, you know, it's it's been nice to see these last few games, you know, guys, you know, really step up and play really well. You know, last night we hit the long ball. Uh, but did other things well, and, and it's it's been a lot of fun to see the entire roster really contributing to some important wins. DJ LeMay, who was, who was a late scratch last night, is in tonight's lineup. He'll play first base. Chris, Chris Kittens was not an option yesterday because of an Achilles issue. He will be available off the bench tonight. And Luke Voigt was out there earlier today around 4 o'clock doing some light defensive drills. That is the first time he has been doing baseball activity of any kind since landing on the injured list. There is no time frame for him. Meanwhile, Brett Gardner is once again in left field tonight. He spoke a little bit about the Yankees' play play as of late. You know, our depth obviously is, is really um, coming into play and you're seeing some of these young guys get great opportunities and really stepping up with um, with their play on the field. And, um, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to see them get that opportunity and to, um, you know, bring some youth and speed into the lineup. And, um, you know, um, guys like Greg Allen and Florial and um, Trey Amberge, um, you know, I think that, um, you know, really um, Ryan Lamar, um, guys that, you know, are able to, um, you know, change the game with, with their legs and on the defensive side of the ball. And, um, you know, it's just been fun to see. And, and obviously we've been playing pretty good baseball, so um, it's been fun to be a part of. You mentioned Floreal. I know it's just one game. You've seen him in the past. You've gone through spring trainings with him. Just what have you thought of him overall? And is it enjoyable for you to watch a guy accomplish some of those firsts in the big league, big leagues? Yeah, I mean, he's a guy who um, he's a really, really – talented player but he's a really really special person and he's a guy that we've we've seen for um we've seen especially up close and personal in spring training these last few years and um you know just excited to see him get this opportunity and be able to perform on the biggest stage and um you know i think it's um you know no situation is too big for him and you could say that about a lot of these young guys on our roster but um he's obviously very very excited to be here had a great game last night some really good at bats and um you know, he's a guy that can, can change the game in a lot of ways. And, um, you know, very happy for him to, you know, not just be here and get this opportunity now, but um, to be healthy and to be able to uh, produce the way that he has been. Um, you know, it's fun to watch up close and personal. And Floriel had a nice night last night, one for three with a walk and two RBIs and also his first big league home run. He was able to get that ball back. He said he is going to keep it. Now, it's funny, he was actually talking to his wife before the game, and she's the one that said to him, hey, you could hit a home run tonight. And he said as he was going around the bases, that's what he was thinking of. Pretty cool, Bob. 